Welcome back, horror friends, to this week's episode of Horror Movie Update. Sorry it's late. I'm filming it late on Tuesday. You're going to have to forgive me. Let's go. In theaters, Troll Hunter opened up to, on one screen, only $5,585. I guess not bad for one weekend on one screen. And uh, as far as anything else opening this weekend, there is nothing. Yet again, I guess uh, summer isn't good horror movie season because we've had about three out of the last four weeks where not a single horror movie opened up. But maybe next week. On DVD for Tuesday, June 14th, first up we have Red Riding Hood. This is a suspense fantasy movie that, because there's werewolves, I'm posting it. It's direct, I believe it's directed by the same director as Twilight, so this kind of rules it out for me. I have no interest in seeing this movie. It looks like Twi Twilight meets fairy tales, and it it just doesn't ring any bells with me. So, But if it does with you, it's on DVD this Tuesday. Bad Blood, A Cautionary Tale, is a documentary that... It really, the horror of it is that doctors and the FDA and medical suppliers knew that they were giving out bad blood with that contained HIV, hepatitis, a whole bunch of very bad, bad things inside the blood, and they knew they were handing it out. And uh, I'm interested in possibly seeing this documentary to find out when and where it happened, because it seems like it might have happened years ago, and they're just profiling it now. But uh, it's kind of scary. You know, you need a blood transfusion to save your life, but what they're giving you is something that's going to kill you. That's that's a horrible thing. So that documentary's on DVD as well. Chat Room. I don't know what to say about this movie. It looks like real people in the digital world. Guy loses it, kind of loses it. There's a question of who's controlling who. Depression, murder, suicides going on. I'm not sure how real they are because it looks like it's happening in the online world. But I don't know. But uh, check it out. There's a horror movie five pack coming out called Classic Slashers Collection. The five movies in this collection are Don't Look in the Basement, Scream Bloody Murder, Silent Night Bloody Night, Hatchet Murders, and The Severed Arm. If you've seen those before and you like them, pick them up. They're in the collection. If you haven't, I've seen a couple of these, and Don't Look in the Basement is a pretty good movie. Scream Bloody Murder is okay. Silent Night, Bloody Night I have not seen. Hatchet Murders I have not seen, and I have not seen The Severed Arm. But, if anything, get this to check out Don't Look in the Basement. It's a very overlooked movie from the 70s that is pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. Who doesn't like low-budget Full Moon pictures? Full Moon, owned by Charles Band, and these three films are directed by him. It's, a, it's called The Deadly Dolls Triple Feature. First we have Dangerous Worry Dolls, Demonic Toys 2, and Doll Graveyard. I like to see all of these. I'm a big fan of the Full Moon Pictures. They're low budget, but they're worth a watch. Fall Down Dead. A man was raised as a butcher. He turns his butchering into killing. He turns his killings into art. He's called the Picasso Killer, and he is stalking and killing girls on Christmas. Something for the family. Ghost Story Collections. This contains four documentaries based around the basic ghosts, haunted places, serial killers, and overall paranormal stuff. Like, I believe one of the documentaries profiles the real-life boy who was the subject of Haley Joel Osment's character in The Sixth Sense. He saw dead people, apparently. Um, they all could be interesting documentaries. I'm into that kind of stuff, and I, I enjoy that stuff, but uh, maybe you do too. If you do, that's on DVD. Groupie. Taryn Manning stars as a groupie who is obsessed with the band, and her obsession turns into psychopathic killing. She takes band member one at a time and she offs them and their girlfriends and wives too so the trailer seems to spoil it you can pretty much guess where the movie's going by just watching the trailer and uh... it looks okay I guess are you a fan of Elvira? I am and she has two <clears throat> excuse me 
two double features coming out. Night of the Living Dead and Eat Your Skin is the first double feature, and the second double feature of Elvira's movie Macabre is Satanic Rites of Dracula and Werewolf of Washington. So if you if you look like kind of Mystery Science Theater, Elvira stuff, Sven Gulli maybe, um, she pops up during the movie, kind of cracks a joke here and there, and goes away, and then pops up again later. It's a, it's just a whole bunch of fun, and uh, I enjoy watching her stuff. It's it's good stuff. But uh, that's on DVD if you want to add those to your collection. For the classic horror movie trailer of the week, in honor of the Deadly Dolls triple feature, I'm going to post the original Demonic Toys. I saw this movie probably 15 times the first weekend I recorded off of Showtime. I enjoyed it a lot. It, it was probably that in the subspecies movies, and of course the Puppet Master movies, were what got me into Full Moon, Full Moon Pictures. And I've seen quite a few of their movies over in my, in my day. So, uh, down below, I'll have the trailers for all this week's DVDs. And uh, check them out if you get a chance. Netflix, I'm download them legally. And uh, just enjoy horror. Until next week, I'm your host, Marv. Bye.